I'm Melanie McQuaid of Melrad Coaching, and today I'm gonna to talk about recovery. Recovery is key to expressing your fitness. If you train your heart out, but going to a race tired and under-recovered, you won't race at your best. Similarly, if you can't train enough, you're not gonna be fit enough to perform at your best. And you can only train as hard as you can recover. So, how do we make the most of our recovery? Recovery has become an industry of its own. There's a laundry list of gadgets that you can buy to help you hack your recovery. But really, there's only three ways in which you can actually maximize your recovery. Programming, sleep, and nutrition. So when we create a program, we wanna have the right combination of intensity, volume, and frequency. Intensity and volume are two things that you should probably not apply in large amounts together if you want to maximize the training benefits of each one of them. And then frequency or density of training, that's really individual to athletes because some athletes can train uh, multiple times in a day, day after day after day, and other athletes need larger windows of recovery uh, in between sessions in order to adapt to them. So having a great coach that knows what works for you and will design a program that fits in your life uh, is really important. Sleep. Athletes need six and a half to eight hours of sleep per night. You can get away with less for a night or two, but in time that cumulative effect of denying your body the restorative benefit of sleeping will impair your recovery. Sure, you can get away with it from time to time, but over time, that groggy feeling, that like, that slowness, that tiredness is just gonna continue and you won't be recovering. You have to sleep. This is a huge change that I've seen since I started racing. Like when I started um, paying attention to this basic fundamental need of your body wasn't important. So what I see now is elite athletes are working really hard to level up their sleep game. If this is what the best are doing, you should be doing it as well. It's really important for your recovery and you should be getting enough of it. Nutrition. Okay, this is super important because you have to provide your body with the building blocks to rebuild and repair after you've been training because that is the essence of recovery. So what do you need to eat to fuel your training? Xterra is a, an explosive, it's a really high intensity sport. So if we want to fuel that type of exercise, you're gonna want to uh, lean heavily on carbohydrates. So my advice is to choose really easy to eat, easy to digest stuff, because when your heart rate's really high and you're going really hard, you don't have a lot of time to mess around with chewing and nutrition. And then for your core diet, again, this is really unique and individual, but here are some common things for a lot of athletes that you can probably lean on. Protein sources are things like tuna, chicken, meat, stuff like that. Fatty fish is a really good idea because there is evidence that um, omega-3s help with recovery. And then you could do simple things like whey protein or something like that. And then in your core diet, again, carbohydrates are key for uh, fueling training and for recovering. So uh, quality carbohydrates like greens, fruits, vegetables, uh, potatoes, uh, rice, pasta, things like that. Uh, are all really important for recovery and for your core diet. And then you wanna have some healthy fats like nuts, uh, avocados, healthy oils like olive oil, things like that. So the takeaway here is to focus on your core daily diet and then optimize your race nutrition. And then if you still have some gaps to fill, at that point you might wanna look at a, a few different supplements that will help you to bring it all together. Recovery boots, massage guns, compression garments, and ice baths, and pugs might all offer marginal gains towards your recovery. But sticking to the basics, programming sleep and nutrition is the best way to maximize your recovery from training and perform at your best on race day.